guys, we are back with another episode of Going For It. We're here with the Dadalorian himself, Craig Brooks. Um, Thanks, Cuba, for the shirt. What? It's a good shirt. It's a good shirt. It's I a good like shirt, it. Right? I like it's a good it. Shirt. I'm a fan. I'm a fan, especially as you embraced fatherhood. Um, Very much so. Full, full embrace. Hairs leaving daily. <laughs> full embrace. Not from the boy yet, but that will happen. It'll start He's leaving got- on the sides. He's got the curly locks and they're, they're beautiful. And I, I, I find myself gently touching them of like nostalgia because this, not Locked only in. is it um, leaving, it's, it's not even good hair, right? It's, <laughs> there's a, there's a thinness and it's a bad texture. Brillo patty. It's right? a little bit it's, like it's a bad. bad. I have the, that much better hair here. Oh, so good. Much better. Strong much beard. Better. There was a, 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 a picture of you that came up in like a recent time hop, like memories thing. And you had the, beard beard when you were doing yeah and that you know it's funny you say that because that i I was uh mel and i have been sending thank you for that the apple machine does these like you know this it'll like make you videos of your former photos and stuff and it'll tell you like here's what you did three years ago in a video yeah and i had one of the big beards when we traveled and i was like it's cool i can't really reconcile it anymore because every time it gets even a little long with having the kid and he is doing stuff like Um, i think i'm gonna keep things this is even getting to the length of like okay tone it down tone it down so because he's doing this i just don't i'm so jealous of it because it's just it's all just singular hairs yeah it's not it's not a good but here it's good here we have i know it's good you can't maybe you can't have both maybe you can't have i don't think you can Maybe the guy. Unless you're like there. Rogers. Aaron Rogers has a, has the great hair, but also a very strong beard. And this is a strong segue. Moment. And it strong really is. Segue. So I'm going to pivot directly Level into your game, into sir. the A.A. Ron Rogers. We talked at length uh, about his contract and we kind of didn't know why, which is something that's been talked about in NFL circles. And I, I found out literally the next day and I put, I put it in our video. I recorded a little segment and I was like, hey, his guaranteed dollars, his guaranteed money is up Up. after this season. Done. No quarterback worth their anything will play for no guaranteed dollars, especially one coming off of an MVP season. He's not even even the low end dudes are playing. The Mariotas are playing for three and a half guaranteed you know Correct. what i'm saying like aaron has zero dollars guaranteed starting this next season this is so true. we're looking at either a potential holdout we're looking for, at for 22 though right because for 22 he, yes right he is, 21 he has guaranteed 30, dollars 30 something right? i think 30. that's that's true i think it's like 35 guaranteed. mid-30s which already feels not good for mvp because three people are like ahead of you with yeah. Mahomes, Dak, and well, boy, we, I know today is not the day, but the the stink on Watson is not good. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's not I'd good. like to people I'd have, like to bail real hard people on that. People have stayed away from from that, and we will we will briefly discuss that. Twenty two yeah. is a lot. It's too many, and, and it, it, it's it's too many people. Um, evidence is starting to show up. I'm out. I'm out. Yep. I'm off the. I'm I'm gone. I'm See done. you later. Bye, Deshaun. It was <laughs> I. <laughs> It's a big time buy because it might be a buy from the buy from the, the league. league yeah, they while. they they may push him away for a, a quite a quite a long time. Uh, and I would even say that Houston probably has grounds for like, we're gonna not give you this money and it's gonna be okay. Give me the money's back. Give me the money's back. <laughs> and, and it's too many. It's too many. It's too many, many. It's too many. many people. Um, we'll get in that in a second. Rogers next season. Next season, uh, no guaranteed dollars. And from what, I don't know if you watched the clips I put in the outline, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. their general manager, I believe he's their general manager, does not seem overly concerned with signing him. Uh, well, well, I, whoa. Okay. Well, well, way in here. Well, way, in well, here well, well, way in here for me. Whoa. Well, did the GM, whose name I believe is Murphy, Murphy. something Mark, Mark yeah, Murphy or something Mark like Murphy, that? I think it is. And thank you for teeing me up with that. I had read about it, but I had not heard. I'm not sure that what he said is as provocative as it's being uh, pushed because it's fun to do that. I think he's positioning himself because he has business to do. Um, And maybe I'm influenced by recently watching some content about John Jones. So I'm very excited about 
a potential Jones and Ganu, but John so, Jones is a little bit about wanting to be paid to potentially get his block knocked off. And I heard him say that, which I felt yeah. like he actually said that out of his mouth. He's like, that's a scary dude. I'd like to be paid because he could break my jaw. Right. So these quarterbacks want to get paid, not because necessarily they're going to break their jaw, but they're, they're really putting uh, health, wellness, knees, shoulders, uh, head, brain, you know, at risk. But I don't know that what that, what, what Murphy said, what the GM said is as incendiary as we're seeing where people are like, he doesn't want to sign him. He kind of put it off. He kind of put it off it, the way I'm taking it as it's like, I'm not going to talk about that right now, which is why people, I'm not sure that's enough for me to be like, he's 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 ready to see set sail Aaron but have we have we seen anything like this before in the league typically you get a guy like this you get a, a, an MVP caliber guy yeah, and yeah. you are immediately throwing your your weight behind him Tom Brady took Tampa Bay to from from nothingness to the, the promised land and got more years added on to the end of a deal that was not initially in a, in there. a favorable financial scenario. So Correct. consider, I like that you brought up Brady there though, only because Brady was doing multiple team friendly deals. Right. And while that's within his right to do so, most players and most real good, like outside the game money and business managers would say, don't do that. You have a finite amount of years that you can earn at this level. Brady, again, had other things going on and could make money a lot of ways. And I believe, and I think it's well out there for everyone to see, Brady cares more about winning than anything else, right? I that. Yeah. That, that he made that very clear. That. He's absolutely decent at the winning thing. He's fine at it. So he can do that. I am not saying Aaron doesn't care about the winning. In fact, now there's a whole new Aaron involved. He's got Shailene Woodley in his life. He's connected to like spirituality and things. He just played his best football, arguably, of his entire career, including the, well, maybe tied for his second, you know, equally with his best year statistically and everything he was doing. They didn't win. I think, I'd like to think that the GM is just setting himself up for having even a shred of like, so 41 million, like, so like, mm, because I, I'd like to think that's what it is instead of what the, the conversation's going to go, which is like, they don't want him there. That That's not true. That That is not true. I know he's a couple years shy of 40. Uh, the league has shown us that if you stay healthy, stay with your body, that is not the end of days for a, for a quarterback. True. I, I guess my concern just comes from, again, I, I don't think this precedent has ever been set before. I don't think you've ever seen, you know, Patty Mahomes got his MVP and everybody was like, what's that contract going to look like? And Kansas city said, it don't matter. We're going to sign it. It's going to be whatever yeah. he wants it to be. And true. even MVPs before that. And Aaron's Aaron, I, I wrote in the outline is going to be 38 during mm -hmm. the season mm -hmm. next season. That's right. Do you ring chase a little bit? Do you, do you start, this will be the opportunity for him to kind of hold out if he wants, right. put out some feelers see what's out there and if he wants to go to a denver if he wants to go to uh an atlanta if he wants to go and he wants to go ring chase a little bit yep i think that opportunity is going to be there it will be i guess in in my opinion i i, I want your opinion first no, 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 I love do it. you think this move by murphy possibly alienates Aaron enough maybe not new Aaron maybe not spiritual more centered Aaron but do you think it'll alienate him enough to just be like this is the first time I've gotten to pick where I want where I could go right maybe I it's, put some feelers out maybe this is, opens the door for him to leave Green Bay not Green Bay to leave him sure sure it, it, it could do that and the problem is for us everything we looked at before this year would have said like, no, he's going to stay there forever. He's it, It's all perfect. And ironically, him doing this well at this age, coinciding with all his new things, he's killing it on Jeopardy already. So good he's really Jeopardy. enjoying it. So he good. straight up said he would entertain that as a full-time gig in his life. He has other things he can do. This is a little bit like, I'm not going to say Andrew Luck kicked this off, 
But Andrew Luck certainly messed people's minds up of like, what? Well, wait a minute, you just don't want to do this anymore because you don't have to. But that makes me angry. I want you to do it. <laughs> these, these people don't have to do this if they don't want to. So if the right. stress level comes just right above the, the nonsense threshold and he's looking over at his like, I think Oscar nominated. I don't think she won yet, but I don't like think she won, but she's going to win. The credentials yeah. are there. Very successful, powerful female that is now in his life that he probably, and I've heard him say, is very excited to spend a lot of time with. I can see where you're coming from there, but to me, that doesn't go to ring chase. That goes to sunset. That goes to let's hope he gets into. It won't be a booth. Too much time commitment. Aaron's no. not going to want that. So let's hope he does something football-y but we might be seeing the swan song because what we don't see, this is me bringing it back is green Bay doing a good job of getting him what he needs to win. Because if he puts together that kind of season and there's a few missing pieces, they're not going to get him up one more weapon. It looks like they're just one away a little bit, little bit of juice. They would be representing the, the NFC instead of the bucks, but it's, it's not there. They're, they're, not, they're letting pieces of their offensive line go too. They're letting them go. They're doing the opposite. Yes. Yes. So I think as a franchise, they're setting up for life after Aaron a little prematurely. That's the position I'm taking as like a fan of just respecting him and loving watching him play. You know, I'm a Dolphin fan, but it's fun to watch Aaron Rodgers do Aaron Rodgers things, just of like course. it's fun to watch Patty Mahomes. So I think they're being premature in their setup for the post Aaron era. And, and I think that's going to go down as a miss for them. And, and maybe Jordan Love's great or the next person's great. Good for them. Good for Green Bay. They've shown that they can be good through decades with different people. True. They show they can win in the beginning times, in the 90s, and in the now. Great for them. I, I, I think that Aaron's going to look other places. Not necessarily another team. I think that could be a part of it. But it could just be like, hey, I'm in my money. Uh, I'm going to do a bunch of other stuff. People like me. <laughs> I I so this I guess this leads perfectly into my my last question to do kind of with Aaron Rodgers does the Green Bay model does the way that this franchise seems to operate did they prepare us for this with the Brett Favre departure he retired yeah. but they told him to his face Correct. we're moving on right so is this is this kind of that that situation it, it smells like it and it looks like it, right? It looks like they're setting themselves up for what it's going to be. You got to do that. I get it. Um, it's an interesting franchise though, right? Isn't it the only one with the ownership model they have where this guy we saw talking Murphy, he's not the actual owner. He's the GM. He runs it, but the, the people uh, uh, own it. They've always been a unique franchise. They were an OG. They were first winning what they won the first Super Bowl. The, the two before that, the NFL championships, they're a big deal. Lombardi, the tro everything Lambo. It's, 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 um, it's like canon of the NFL, if you right. will, whereas like the Jags aren't, you, you know what I mean? Like it, it's, but I think they, what they did with Favre rubbed a lot of fans a weird way, right? And it took years for that to come back around. It is looking like they're doing it again, where fans are going to be like, I think you kind of, if Aaron doesn't do a, a two to four year deal after this uh, coming season is finished, right. fans are going to feel like they did it again. They won't lose fans. There's still a damn waiting list for season tickets because the way they, the way that franchise operates, but damn it, if they're not going to have a similar, it'll be a deja vu of Favre, like, especially if you're right. And he goes to another team and has even a middle level of success. Like Favre did okay for the yeah. Vikings and got them to the playoffs. And that was a division rival. Like, I mean, I can't, I'm not ready to like position it completely as mismanagement, but we did, we did have a recent thread of like, bad business if you will right right and maybe this is just bad business in the sense of like your fan base is so locked in and this dude is their kind of he's their dude for the yeah. last 15 he's years their dude you know look at the mistakes and this will hit home for you potentially look at the mistakes the giants made in the year before the last year for eli when then they rat they, they finally realized wait a minute let's show some respect to this dude Let's let him ride it out the right way. And they, they fixed it by the end. They fixed it. He right. is a beacon of, of New York. I know you. We, we talked about this. I've come way, way around. The love for Eli is huge. Aaron is going to be looked at through the lens of history of football as a great. 
uh, as an all time great, yeah, not number absolutely. one or anything like that. No. He's a first ballot Hall of Fame kind of thing. He's going to be looked at that way. And I think Green Bay fans are going to feel you, you, you're on the money there. They're going to feel far of 2.0. I guess my my concern with that is, and not to spend too much more time on this, but uh, we've seen quarterbacks come and go in this league. We've seen first round picks. Alex Smith was the guy taken before Rodgers, right. and this is not to poo poo. <laughs> yeah, this is not to poo poo Alex Smith and what he's accomplished no, in he's his good. career. He's got a he's had a very good career. He's made a living. He's you know he's 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 a an NFL quarterback. Not a lot of people can say that. A starter right. for many, right. many years. Many years, multiple teams. And very competitive on, on, on very many teams. True. Aaron Rodgers is going to go down as one of the greatest quarterbacks of this decade. That's right. Is Julian Love going to do that? Or Jordan Love, sorry. Jordan oh, Love. Yeah, yeah. Well, unlikely, right? Because yeah, you feel like it's not – like that, you know, that Favre to Rodgers was really nice and like, you, you got lucky. You drafted a guy that became a goat, like the goat that was right before him. Correct. Do you and think got, you can And they do got that the same again. amount of titles out of him. Right. Which is interesting. And is Jordan Love as good as those two? I, I'm not able to say because the problem is we didn't know what we knew, what we now know about Aaron when it happened That's the true. way he was the big fall, the green room fiasco, all this stuff. And that chip on his shoulder of sitting behind far for, it was four two, two, it could have been three. I thought two, it was four, but I'm going to look. Yeah, yeah, he sat enough. Are they trying to um, catch lightning in a bottle again? Yes, the answer is yes, they are absolutely trying to do that. But did they get the guy? I'm not so sure about that. I don't, have I seen footage on Love? Absolutely. That was a big deal in the draft when it came up, but I don't, there wasn't enough of it. And it's so unknown. If, if he's developing three, if he's developing a similar chip that really fueled Aaron Rodgers in an angry sense for 10 years, cool. Then they're doing it and they're winning and they should do exactly what they're doing. But I mean, what are the odds, right? There were a lot of quarterbacks between Bart Starr and Brett Favre. Yeah. And I just, I feel like, I feel like in the draft now you don't you don't know.